mostly you have a lot of unprocessed pain in people who have have been religiously abused so so severely that uh, they're just trying to survive, you know. And so because of that, it's such an interesting place still and I think will be an interesting place for generations. And we were taught out here, you don't question God, you don't question the prophet, and God and prophet can do no wrong. They gave their land and their, everything off their back and, and they believed in what they were being told. To give it all, to suffer, and we'll get our reward in the next life. And it could happen to any church. It could happen to any world. We can be scared and manipulated into obedience anywhere. And at the end of my dad's life, he sat on the edge of his bed one night and cried and told me how bad he felt that he had put his children through this. Because what his original reason he joined was for the brotherhood and the love that everybody had for each other and wanting to build each other's lives up. He had no idea that it was a cult. You can't blame Warren every day for where we're at today. We can't. Now we can sit here and bitch about Warren for the rest of our lives and we can say, well, he did this and this and this and this. We all let him. We all let him do the things that he did, and we put him on a fucking on a pedestal. We all, as a community, did that. So we're gonna have to all come back together and stop pointing the blame. How can we change our town? How can we make it better? The people of this community are very important to me. I don't get along with all of them. I don't have association with all of them, but all of them I know have a part in creating what happened, and they also have a part in getting through it.